Tonight, the King 5 investigators reveal a family is suing the Bellingham School District after their child's middle school gave him a seat assignment in a school bathroom. The 11-year-old student has autism. He needed a quieter place to learn. As King 5 Susanna Frame reports, when the school picked a bathroom as the learning space, the family decided to take legal action, accusing the district of discrimination and retaliation. Two weeks into the school year, sixth grader Lucas Goodwin and his mom Danielle were excited about a change at school. Lucas has autism and at Watkin Middle School, he was supposed to get a quieter place to learn to cut down on distractions. Maybe the library or another unused spot in the building. Instead, the school set up this seating arrangement, a makeshift study area in the bathroom. She just kind of pointed to the bathroom and said he's going to be working in there. The school installed Lucas's desk over the toilet, his chair near the sink, and a roll-up mat you can see part of in the mirror was to take naps on on the bathroom floor. Embarrassed, sad, angry, frustrated, a whole bunch of things. Nobody should do that, no one. And why is that? Because it's a bathroom. It's not supposed to be a learning space. The Goodwins filed legal documents notifying the district of an upcoming lawsuit. In it, they write the move to the bathroom was traumatizing and humiliating for Lucas and caused severe anxiety and phobia of attending school. The most egregious part was how blatant the discrimination was. I was a teacher. I've never seen a child treated this way. Alex Hagel is the family's attorney. He says the law is clear. You can't treat kids with disabilities differently. And in this case, he says the message is obvious. That he's not like every other kid. You know, by being placed in a bathroom, he's being told that he's different and he doesn't deserve to learn in the same environment as other children. Within days, the district defended its idea. In an online statement, Superintendent Greg Baker wrote, as state funding for schools is scarce, they have limited space and they're always looking for creative ways to meet student needs. In the end, he said, no student spent time in the repurposed space. But the family doesn't think the seat assignment had anything to do with space, but instead with retaliation, a way to punish the child who complained about another teacher in the district in 2017. That year at Silver Beach Elementary School, Lucas accused this teacher, who we're not identifying, of inappropriate touching in the classroom. The Bellingham police investigated and charges were never filed. Now, two years later at middle school, Lucas's mom says the new teacher admitted the bathroom placement was in response to the prior allegations. When I asked if he could move to a different space, she said no, that she didn't want him to accuse another adult like before. And I specifically asked if this was about the 2017 case, and she said yes. By punishing him, by placing him in a bathroom, he was retaliated against. And that's the law. Exactly. That's the law. The King 5 investigators have found a pattern of schools across the state violating the civil rights of children with disabilities by segregating them from their peers or isolating or restraining them, even when there's no threat of danger. And the numbers are getting worse. State records from the 2016-17 school year showed about 33,000 kids were isolated or restrained at school. The next school year, districts reported about 43,000 students isolated or restrained. That's a 30% jump. This has been heartbreaking and just really hard on him, especially like self-esteem. It's been two months since Lucas's mom pulled him from school and he hasn't gone back. He broke down saying he misses being like the other kids, including spending time with his buddies and classmates. I'm not going to see you anymore. I never get to see my friends ever again. We feel awful for him, obviously. The Bellingham School District declined to do an interview or say if anyone involved with the bathroom incident has been disciplined. They did send me a statement saying the district does not tolerate harassment or retaliation and that they reiterated that the bathroom is not being used and was never used as an educational space. But that even has a caveat because the mother says 
she happened to go by on the first day where he was supposed to have a new spot to learn mm -hmm. and she saw the bathroom and said no way and took the kid out so wow. he could have been spending time in there if she wouldn't have come by and would have if it she sounds like that was by. the plan yes yeah. You could tell that he's still really hurt mm -hmm. by this, right. the poor guy. Um, what's happening with Lucas now? He's not going to go back to school, but the district has agreed to give him um, a lot of tutoring from a private school and some equine therapy, you know, with, with horses and mm. so forth. So that portion of the legal stuff has it's been figured out, but the family is still going to be suing the district for um, violating his civil rights. So mm. that's a whole different can of worms oh and something will follow and okay. the impact long term of him not being able to be with his peers in a regular classroom right that'll be part of it yeah. definitely who knows what that's going to be mm -hmm. long term mm -hmm. thanks sure